Hi guys, it's Rina, math person. Today I'll be going over question 44 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Assume you're a Tim Dillard, just dive right in. So an insurance pays $100 per day for up to three days. So day one, day two, and day three. Oh my goodness, why is my pen? So for day one, day two, and day three, they pay $100. For days after, they pay $50. So 4 and 5, since this is a discrete function where x, it only goes up to 5 days, you know that these go for $50 and $50. The number of days in each hospitalization is a discrete random variable with probability function this. Determine the expected payment for hospitalization under this policy. Alright, so if this is the number of days, right? But the thing is, the to total number of days you pay when on day 5, oh let's say day three isn't just a hundred dollars because you already paid for day one and day two so in day three it is three hundred dollars likewise on day two because you already stayed there two days the total amount that you're paying is two hundred dollars and right here this is going to be 350 and last one is 400 so this is the actual amount that you're paying right here the actual amount oh wait this should be k so this k is the number of days so the actual amount you're paying is 100, 200, 300, 350, and 400. And the probability of those happening is 6 minus the number of days. So if it's day 1, it is 6 minus 1 over 15, or also known as 5 15. <laughs> Likewise, this is 6 minus 2 over 15, which is 4 over 15. And I guess you could start to see the pattern, 3 over 15. 2 over 15, and 1 over 15. As always, our expectation is just the sum, summing it up from k equals 1 to 5, summing up x times the probability of x. All right, so then this is equal to 100 times 5 over 15, plus 200 times 4 over 15, plus 300 times 3 over 15, plus plus 350 times 2 over 15 and lastly 400 times 1 over 15 if you're doing this on an exam I recommend you just factor out the 1 over 15 first and just add up these values here so like 500 plus 4 times 2 800 because you know on the exam time management is key and if you can save these little steps instead of having over 15 for each of them that's great so then 350 times 2, 700, plus 400, equals 220, which is our answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!